Carol Barnett. And I'm Elaine Quijano. Here's a look at the big stories that we are following right now. A legal fight for information. A coalition of news organizations, including CBS News, is in court today requesting the affidavit leading to the search warrant for Mar-a-Lago. We'll break down the pros and cons of having that information uh, made public. We want to tell you as well that uh, the a federal judge is holding a hearing in Florida today to discuss the affidavit supporting the search warrant executed at Mar-a-Lago. Many of the nation's largest media outlets, including CBS News, are arguing for its release. Um, the U.S. Justice yep. Department is against that, saying the ongoing investigation could be put into jeopardy. FBI agents searched former President Trump's Florida estate last week and retrieved 11 boxes of materials. Now, the DOJ agreed to release the actual search warrant but wants the affidavit to remain sealed. That's right. And as that decision takes place, we want to discuss its implications. Joining us now is Jessica Levinson and Rachel Fizet. Jessica, on your left, is a legal contributor for CBS News, and Rachel is the co-founder and managing partner of Zweibeck, Fizet, Al and Zeldwendo. Thank you both for being with us as uh, we look into what the judge will ultimately decide. Jessica, first, on what basis are media companies, including CBS News, arguing to unseal this affidavit, and how successful is that typically? Uh, typically not particularly successful, but now I'll take the first part of the question, which is, what's the purpose here? And the media organizations are understandably saying there's a very strong public interest in obtaining this information. The former president of the United States has said this is nothing more than a witch hunt. There's no legitimate basis. And the way to find the truth is to look at the affidavits, which would provide much more information than just the search warrant. They're saying that this gives the public important information about past government officials, current government officials, and that's why they want to unseal this. Now, of course, as you'll discuss in a moment, there's a lot on the other side of the scale here. So um, what about, yeah, the government's position, Rachel? On what basis is the Justice Department opposing the document's release? This is an ongoing investigation, and that affidavit has extremely sensitive information in it that would provide the defense a complete roadmap to what they have already discovered in the case through the grand jury investigation. It may also reveal confidential sources that are within the White House or the former White House. Uh, it may reveal other witnesses that are coming forward to speak. It will reveal documents. It, and most importantly here is this is an issue of national security. And everything in that affidavit is likely